Yeah. And a, another part of that story is really what's in the engine with the yeah. engine braking system. Right on. Uh, we, we run a very commercial vehicle orientated decompression brake system. Right. So it's not just an exhaust flap closing, creating a bit of back bit pressure. Bit of back pressure, yeah. Uh, on this one, we also uh, release all the pressure inside the engine as the pistons are going up and down. All right. So when the pistons going up, you're not injecting fuel, they build pressure up, yeah. compress the air. That's right. Yeah. So you get an air spring, yeah. and that pushes the piston back down again, right. releasing the energy. You don't want that. You want to slow the tractor down. Right. So when you, uh, when you operate the, uh, the exhaust brake and decompression brake, it moves the camshaft and uh, blips, the, blips the exhaust valve, so it yeah. releases that pent-up pressure right. and increases the effect of retardation that the engine's delivering. Clever stuff. Uh, and it just as a, if you like, as a benchmark, if you take a standard tractor, take your foot off the throttle, if you say that's the benchmark, yeah. you then add a flap, yeah. you increase that retardation by 28%. 28? 28%. And how much is that, right? If you go for the decompression system on top of that, yeah. 166% more retardation. Bloody hell. So it really is it like throwing an anchor back. out the back. So on, a, on an alpine hillside like we are surrounded by yeah, yeah. 40 tonnes all up, you will not have to ride the brakes to go down a hill. No, you'll let it yeah. basically like what we had before where you've got proper engine braking, yes. effectively, yes. like you would with your power shift, yes. something like that. Because yeah, yeah. that was always the Achilles heel of older CVT tracks is they always ran on a bit, didn't yes, they? Yeah. But now you can really control that yeah. descent. Uh, have you got any other tricks up the sleeve for pulling the speed back or shaving speed off? Can you do, um, put the load on the fan and things like we, that? We can do that as well. So with the fan, if you if you have uh, the, the exhaust brake system and you've got a reversible fan, yeah. we, we play the trick on the fan by going that onto maximum load. We vary the geometry of the turbocharger to increase yeah. the pressure. So multiple tricks. <laughs> you got loads. Uh, and then, of course, you've got to be careful when you've got that much retardation to avoid jackknife potential. So we already have the feature on the market for the intelligent trailer brake yeah. system. So when there's negative torque, it automatically applies the trailer brake. So it puts a bit of stretch in the yeah, system, that's right? Exactly stretching the stretching the vehicle. Right. So you've put some thought into this, haven't you? For a haulage machine, you know, it's it's got everything. It's got to have it, yeah. yeah.